Gen Z and millennials need to start having more kids. What do you think? No! How come you're all lonely with no kids? Because nobody can afford anything now. Instead of complaining, how about you apply that energy to a job? I mean, people can afford food, let alone shelter. You know no high rent is. So you're saying you Here's the thing. If having a job and like here's the thing. Children require time. Children require time and effort to be able to parent them. You know, like, you can't expect everybody to hire a nanny to take care of that for them. So, like, parents outside of school hours and daycare need to be able to parent their fucking children. You cannot do that if both parents are working 60 to 80 hours a week to be able to afford a, you know, a four-person, four-plus, per, like, a one, a three, four, five-plus person household. Every, rent is too damn high, groceries are too damn expensive, and the cost of living is too damn out of sync with what people are paid, that, like, you can't expect people to be creating new life and having children when our society is actively doing nothing, or, and worse, making it more difficult to have children. As it stands now, people like an Elon Musk, a Jeff Bezos, or you know, insert the like that weird, the weird dude from Tele the weird CEO of Telegram, um, are ha are the only ones having oodles of fucking children because they believe in like like the fucking idiocracy line that only stupid people have. They believe the eugenicist lie of idiocracy, which is, you know, only stupid people procreate and they and they're actively trying to like increase the number of people in their socioeconomic class. By increasing the number of people in the socioeconomic class, they hope that, you know, they're able to get workers and people that are less likely to ask for things like, you know, dignity. Like, uh, not fan, family dollars, your best friend, decent quality for real cheap. No, I'm not saying that's, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you that, like, there's ways to, like, finagle it and shit. But, like, you know, one child... From the time, and this is, by the way, in $2012, $2012, mind you. So, like, not even accounting for inflation. Costs half, no, wait, yeah, no, costs a million dollars to raise from child to adulthood. Anywhere, for, they cost from any, from a half a million to a million dollars to raise from child to adulthood per kid. In twenty twelve dollars. So, you know, fundamentally, at the end of the day, you know, having children at this point is a luxury. I would love to have kids. My girlfriend, you know, is you know, has thought possibly of having children. You know, maybe through a surrogate or something. But we're not doing it. Because for economic reasons, so geopolitical reasons, socioeconomic reasons, environmental reasons, it's it's not it's not tenable to do. And you know, people are for go like you know, you know, in 1990, 1980, if you were a, a dual income household with no children, you were doing very well. Now you're just making ends meet. You know, I got a friend that like is a, is a, is a custodian. Like he's a, a union custodian for the school district in my area, and his wife is a teacher. You know, two solid union jobs with benefits. You know, and he still has to like fucking like make a little bit of money on the side doing photography, and she has to do a couple other little items and stuff. You know, well, I'm screwed. I only make 19k a year, and that's bad nowadays. That is bad. 19k is is well below the poverty line like 35k like that like that is which is what a, which is like like what a, that i think closer to the average of what the average person makes is like abysmal like you are you are hanging on hanging on by a thread barely even at 50k like if you are living in a, if you're making 50k and you're not living in like a bumblefuck part of the country like you're barely hanging on too like you're having to hustle a little bit less than the person making 35k but you're still struggling you know like 
you know, it isn't until, like, you get to, like, the 60, 70K that things start to be feel, like, after taxes, that things start to feel at least a little more comfortable. And to make 60 to 70 after taxes, you've got to be making 100K, 120K out the fucking gate. You know, it's, it's, you know, I'm not saying you can't survive and you can't do it. People do it every fucking day, but it's not fucking easy. And it's certainly not conducive to having, you know, you know, a, a, you know, half a mil to a million dollar, you know, weight down, bringing you down plus three. And I'm not saying children are like a weight that's bringing you down, but like, it's a financial consideration. Like you shouldn't bring life into this world that you can't give life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. I swear to God, Nico, if you eat my shit, well, I'm poor. I cannot afford new things. But yeah, that's yeah. Then's the breaks on that one, man. Like, pe like people just need to understand how, like, for people our age, you just cannot do it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.